1998, Interactive Studios developed and Hasbro Interactive published Glover for the Nintendo 64. The plot of the game had that it took place within the Crystal Kingdom, and within the kingdom resided the Crystal Castle. Balance was kept within the kingdom through seven crystals which were located in different areas of the castle. A wizard within the castle had magical gloves that, through enchanted magic, were able to assist him with the creations of potions and spells. One day, the wizard incorrectly mixes a potion within his cauldron and is caught in an explosion which turns him into stone. As a result of the explosion, the crystals were scattered across the kingdom. One of the gloves that was blown out of the castle's window as a result of the explosion, the game focused on the right glove that was blown out of the castle's window as a result of the explosion, as the left glove of the wizard that had fallen into the concoction within the cauldron became the villain of the game known as Cross Stitch. Through a said stage, it showed how Glover had to maneuver a ball through the different obstacle courses or puzzles towards the goal located at different locations through the various stages. The game concludes with Glover stopping Cross Stitch by purifying it as well and restoring the crystals to which breaks the effects of the petrification spell on the wizard, and as a result of everything that Glover did, everything was restored to normal within the kingdom. When Glover was originally published, it became a very popular video game being commented on during the time of its original release. Glover was later released on the original Sony PlayStation, with critics saying that the experience was horrible when compared to the Nintendo 64 version. The character of Glover was a throwback to the early and mid 1990s style of platforming games with simple characters such as Glover and Cross stitch and yet a simple story which was fun to experience such as recovering the crystal gems and using Glover to accomplish goals. However, due to the success of the game, Interactive Studios announced that a sequel was in development, with the concept of a sequel to Glover being implemented during the actual production of the first game. The sequel would continue right where the story ended within the first game, as the details weren't fully known at the time. The game was originally scheduled for release in 1999, all to be released on the Nintendo 64 once more, with the PlayStation and Dreamcast console versions to be released in 2000. From Dalta now known, the dynamics of the sequel would have been similar to the original game, but with minor improvements. But due to the circumstances of the game's development, it was cancelled. In 2011, a copy of the unfinished sequel was released online. In 2015, one of the developmental forces from within Interactive Games at the time discussed the exact details for the sequel's cancellation. At the time, Nintendo held an arrangement with distributors when buying video game cartridges. There was actually a discount if the consumer were willing to buy more cartridges of the game to be later sold to consumers through retail locations. An employee in charge of buying the game accidentally put in an incorrect order in terms of amount of game. And when these extra games didn't sell, manufacturers were forced to buy back the games at a monumental loss. This loss, in terms of revenue, was roughly 500,000 US dollars. And due to the amount of money lost due to this error, the Glover project was cancelled. The sequel itself was roughly 80 to 85 percent completed when the Glover sequel was cancelled due to the error with the purchase. In 2017, news had it that the rights to Glover had been bought, and that the company Pico Interactive had plans to re-release the original Glover video game, or to complete the unfinished sequel, then publish it, even possibly to completely reboot the franchise for the modern era of gaming. Analysts have commented that even if the Glover franchise were to be revived, the original intentions for the character of Glover, as well as the concept of the game, would have to be undoubtedly be changed for the modern era of video games as mentioned. Sometimes a card can be forgotten because of a mistake when ordering video game cartridges for sale.